In 2009, two Texas nurses reported a physician at their rural Winkler County Memorial Hospital to the Texas Medical Board for providing substandard care. The nurses were fired. Worse, they faced criminal charges for misuse of official information. The case in this tiny West Texas county drew national attention. The American Nurses Association and the Texas Nurses Association backed the nurses. They established a legal defense fund and mounted a national media campaign to call attention to the chilling effects on nurses. So we were just fl flabbergasted by the fact that you'd be criminally indicted for reporting a physician to a medical board. And the two nurses now constantly tell us every time I see them that the call they got from us out of the blue was one of the best calls they ever got because they really felt alone. It was very important that we step up for those nurses. They needed another voice to support them in their efforts to protect their patients. And ANA and the Texas Nurses Association did that. Charges against one nurse, Vicki Galley, were dropped. The other, Ann Mitchell, endured a four-day trial. The Ann Mitchell case is getting national attention here at CBS 7. We have received a number of emails and phone calls concerning this case. Many in disbelief and some outraged at the idea that a nurse could spend time behind bars for what they say is stepping up to protect patients. Not guilty. That's the verdict in a trial of a former Winkler County nurse, Ann Mitchell, that was handed down by the jury just this afternoon. The verdict was a victory for every nurse in this country and for every patient in this country. It meant that nurses would be supported whenever they spoke up for patients. ANA is the quintessential advocate for nurses across this country, and we will never back down from taking strong moral positions in defense of nurses doing their job. The not guilty verdict didn't end the ordeal. The nurses had countered with a civil lawsuit against the hospitals, physicians, and government officials. Later, the tables were turned and criminal charges were brought against four Winkler County hospital and government officials. Ann and Vicki's struggles spurred changes. The Texas legislature passed new laws protecting nurses who stand up for patients. This is every nurse's obligation to protect and advocate for their patients, particularly when they see care that is potentially not safe. And that's what these nurses did. Four Winkler County officials involved in the criminal case against the nurses later faced criminal charges themselves for misuse of official information and retaliation. And the verdicts are in.